Welcome back. Let's get to scraping. Today we're going to talk about the scrape brush. So go ahead and open up your blender and do new file general. And we're going to save it as scrape. And let's set up for sculpting. So I'm just going to turn on my matte caps here and add a multi resolution. And we'll subdivide up to five and do control tab down. And that will flip us into sculpt mode. And today we are looking at the cousin or brother of the fill brush, which is the scrape brush. So in the last episode, we talked about the fill that if you hold control, it actually turns into the scrape brush. But today it's like the opposite. It's opposite day. So we're going to talk about the scrape tool and notice it's got the radius up here, just like always. The strength is cranked up all the way to one and we are in the positive direction. If we take a look at our tools, it's very similar to the fill. We've got our offset, our auto smooth and our area radius, which I would just leave at zero, but essentially that's gonna affect around the edges of your circle here, um, you know, the area radius that it's trying to scrape. And then we also have our invert to fill, uh, which will essentially, when we hold control, it will turn into the fill tool. So very similar to the fill, but uh, it is the scrape. So let's get to scraping. What are we talking about? What are we waiting for? Let's get to scraping. So what I want you to do here is just do some scraping on Suzanne's face. We can even go right back to where we started here and just start scraping. So notice it is scraping out area. The brush is actually filling your model on the sides of this circle here and trying to determine you know, how deep and how far it needs to scrape um, off of the surrounding geometry, which is pretty amazing. So say if we wanted to really just you know, scrape out these eyes real quick, you could do that. Boom, look at there. Made the gap way bigger and just smooth it on out. So looky there, we've done some serious scraping. You can even just do it anywhere, just scrape. But see how this one didn't go down as far because it didn't have something to reference. You know how we had the, the high bump of the eyebrow and the high bump of the head? That's how Blender knew to like just do some scraping in that little valley there. But since it's, we're scraping on the top of the head here, it doesn't really know how far or how deep to go. So it doesn't really do that much scraping. It's just, you know, just barely scraping off the top, like if you were peeling a carrot or something. So if you're looking for that type of, you know, just, you know, shaving some, uh, you know, or scraping some, some layers off there, then you can do that. You could even increase the plane offset if you needed to, you know. Whoa, yeah. So that's really going to go pretty intense. I'm not going to go that far. We'll just keep that right there back at zero. There we go. But again, if you're using some place that already has some edges, notice there, it really did some scraping because of the surrounding geometry. So that's what I want you to do. It's just kind of follow any kind of valley that you see and start scraping that valley. See if you can find some gold in this here Suzanne head, which you probably won't because it's just geometry. But I digress. Let's just get to scraping. So just, you know, get into the little valleys here, start scraping, scraping away. And again, just like its cousin, the fill tool, you can hold control and do the opposite of the scrape, which is the fill. So I'm just holding control and notice it's filling in. So you can fill in and then scrape it. Very counterproductive, but it just shows you how flexible and how fast you can be with Blender. So again, holding control to fill and then smoothing it out. And then you can just click and drag to do some scraping. So, you know, if there's some, some clay or digital clay that you don't need, just scrape it away, smooth it out, scrape it away, smooth it out. That'll probably be your kind of workflow here. But I uh, just want you to practice, you know, because you're not going to get better at sculpting unless you just play around and practice. So it'll we'll just take, you know, a few minutes to play around with this brush until you feel pretty confident. And just knowing that you have these tools in your tool belt, ready to go. If any idea you have pops up, you'll be ready to tackle it. So, you know, once you're done scraping, let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson, which is the multiplane scrape. Dun-da-da-dum! -da -da -da.